Welcome guys, uh, this is Kumar Gupta again for you. One of my student Dilip has called me and asked me a, a question and uh, looks like this question has asked to, him, uh, asked to him over the interview. Here is the question. So looks like a script contains three transactions and he wanted the extended log to be enabled only for the first two transactions or he wants to obtain the enabled log for only first two transactions. Is it possible? Let's let's go deeper into the question and tr really try to understand what is this question. Okay, so for that I have I've taken the script which I have recorded on the web tools itself on the basic web tools application I have created this uh, uh, script it contains three transactions one is the launch transaction and here is the login transaction and here is the log of transaction so I just contains three transactions now I want the extended log to be enabled for launch and login transaction I don't want the extended log to be enabled for log of transaction now if you wanted an extended log what people usually do is they go to the RTS, the runtime settings, they go to the log and in the log you have an extended log and in the extended log there are various options. So usually people go with the parameter substitution. So but if you do this, if you go to the runtime settings in the log, if you enable the extended log, this extended log is enabled for all the actions which means that the extended log is enabled for all the transactions which is launch transaction and login transaction and log of transaction so for all this the extended log is enabled but that's not what we want now what we want is the extended log to be enabled only for the first two transactions which is uh, launch and login which is launch and login so how can we accomplish this yes it is possible the first question is it is is it possible yes it is possible so i'm moving back the lock to the standard lock now i want the extended lock for only the first two transactions is this possible yes how is it possible by using a function an lr api or an lr function called lr underscore set underscore debug underscore message once you type it make sure the color changes if the color changes then you have typed this lr api correctly or you got this lr function correctly now every lr function will have an input arguments let's see what are the inputs for this one okay if you need any help on any function click anywhere on that and press f1 now you get the complete help on lr set debug message okay the way of usage we are using the c language so we have to use this function and there seems to be two arguments as an input one is message level flag one is on and off one is the message level flag and one is on off okay so let's let's look at what is this first flag which is message level flag okay so here is the valid uh, values for the message level flag so you see message level flag let's let me look into the valid values for the message level flag for the c language you see if you want the log to be disabled you use this one which is lr message class debug log or you can use lr message class brief log wherein you get the brief log or you want lr message class extended log this is what you want the LR message class extended log but usually when you go use the extended log along with that you can use one of these values you see these are the ORED values which can be used with the extended log okay so what are those ORED values that you can use with the extended log you can use LR message class result data along with this LR extended match log you can use any of these three values either you can have the parameters printed out or you want the full praise full trace or parameters or the results data let's say I want only the parameters so I will use the extended log along with that extended log I will be using the parameters so let me go back so let me copy this this is the valid value for the uh, uh, valid value for the message logs okay so <coughs> this is the first argument okay so make sure the color changes along with the extended log you are not stopping with the extended log in the extended log you are saying that i want the parameters so let me use this one parameter substitution So with this, the first one new, the first value message level flag will be done. So along with this extended log, in the extended log, what do I want? So you use the value pipe and then you use the parameter. So in the extended log, I want the parameter substitution. What are you doing by, by putting these two values with the pipe, with the usage of pipe? What are you saying? 
in the extended log i want the parameter substitution in the extended log if you wanted the full trace if you wanted the full trace what would you go with let, let me go to the message level flags again so in the extended log you want the full trace so you have to use the extended log along with that and then you have to use the ORIG value which is LR message full trace. So if you use both of this with the pipe, then in the extended log you get the full trace. If you use both of them with the pipe, in the extended log you will get the parameter substitution. So now I have the first argument ready. Now what is the second argument? The second argument is on and off. So let's see what are the valid values for on off. So for the argument called on off, the valid values are switch off, switch on and default. So I want it to switch on now. So let me switch it on. So you have to have a comma over here and you have a switch on, which means that this extended log with the parameter substitution is on from now, from this point onwards. So it will start looking at the parameter substitution from this, from line number 18 or from the transaction launch. So you wanted this extended log for two transactions. So this is the launch transaction. This is login transaction. So you wanted to end the extended log over here. So I'll copy the same thing, whatever over here. Okay. So we have to use the same function to switch it off. All you have to do is switch off over here, switch off over here, make sure the color changes so that you know that the argument value is correct. So here is what switched on and here is where it is switched off. So now we can go ahead and execute it just to make sure that the extended log with the parameter substitution is working. So let me go to the default layout before executing. I wanted to make sure that the log is only standard log over here. But now when you run it, you would see the parameter substitution. So let me go ahead and run this. My system is kind of little slow. Yeah. Now the execution is already done. Okay. As you can see here, the parameter value is being substituted. You see the parameter substitution is showing up. So for this index, you see the value, uh, the user session parameter value will be generated and that's what will be showing up over here. And that's what is substituted in the login. This user session value, which is an LR parameter is being substituted in the login. And that's what is showing up over here, which means that the log parameter substitution log is enabled. So how it is enabled, not from the runtime settings, by using this LR set debug message. Okay, guys. So good luck with your interviews. Uh, I'll, I'll start, uh, whenever I have time, I'll keep uh, creating this uh, uh, interview uh, LR uh, uh, videos uh, for the interview questions. And if you want my entire course, uh, you wanted to uh, learn the whole course from me. Yes, it is available. I am selling it online. Uh, for the rec you can either enroll for my live videos or you can purchase you can purchase the recorded videos from this link i'll provide this link at the bottom of this youtube video you can go to this link browse and see you know if this course is for you thank you guys thank you for listening good luck with your interview